And our word for today on this Easter Sunday, the resurrection of the Lord, the Mass of Easter Day. Our word for today is raised. Raised is our word for today. We take this from our second reading for today, from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, verses 1 through 4. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Today we celebrate this resurrection of Jesus Christ, this greatest of all days. The birth of Jesus, of course, the ministry of Jesus, and we mark the death of Jesus as we prepare for this Easter celebration. The birth of Jesus without his death for us is of no value. His death without a resurrection is of no value for us. We need the resurrection. We are a resurrection people. But this comes through us through times of difficulty, through times of pain. It's ascribed to each of us to carry our own crosses. Jesus has carried that cross and he has given his life that we might be saved. Today is a special day to be counted as a special day as we recollect what Jesus has done for us, yes, but also what's available to us because of what he has done for us. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory because he has been raised from the dead. Yes, we suffer with him. Yes, we will die with him. But if we are willing to lay down our lives with him, We will be raised with him. How does that apply to today? Today is a special day. Today is a singular opportunity of grace, unlike any other day on the calendar. Today is the day of the Lord's favor. Now is the day of of his favor. Now is the time of his salvation. This is the time we go to him, receive those graces. If we have not yet given ourselves over to him, If we've not yet given our lives to him, today is the day to do that. Mark it today. On this Easter Sunday, March the 31st, 2024, let this be the day that you begin to walk with seriousness with the Lord. Give him your entire life. If you've made that commitment, if you've walked with him in your life, what about those parts of your life that don't belong to him? Let him resurrect those things today. Whatever is dead in you, let him bring life to that thing today. Let this be the day that is marked in your eternal calendar as the day that you gave it all to the Lord Jesus Christ. And brother, sister, if you are suffering with anything in particular today, bring it to the Lord. I promise you, he will minister to your need today in in a mighty and powerful way. I stand with you, no matter what it is that you bring to him today. That thing that has suffered, that you have suffered with the most, that, that part of your life that just seems hopeless, Let him resurrect that thing today. Let him resurrect that thing today. Let him take it to the cross, nail it there, and let it be raised with him. No matter what the situation, no matter how big, no matter how small, bring it to the Lord today in a particular way today that he might minister to it. Father, we come before you on this day of days. We thank you for the death of your son, Jesus Christ, We thank you that he has been risen and he has risen indeed. Lord, you know our need, you know our perpetual need, but you know the particular need that each of us brings to you today. That thing in us that is dead, that thing in us that causes us such suffering, that thing in us that causes us such hopelessness. Lord, let it be raised today. Let it be raised just as Jesus was raised just as we contemplate his resurrection today, Lord, let us be resurrected with him and let each of our needs be resurrected with him in a particular way as well. And those who are hearing this and encountering you for the first time, Father, let their hearts be open, let their minds and their spirits be stirred. I thank you for it. We give you thanks for your generosity toward us and we celebrate resurrection today because Jesus has been raised from the dead, raised our word for today.